Chief Political Correspondent Tom Clark joins me now. Tom, if this poll is accurate, the Prime Minister hasn't been able to heal the wound this whole affair has opened up. Yeah, not even begin to heal the wounds that he's got. And it really shows us just how deep and personal those wounds are, Donna. What is especially troubling tonight for the Prime Minister is that Canadians are not giving him a pass on questions of integrity and character. And in politics, when those two things get questioned, there you're on very difficult ground because, like all of us, politicians only have their reputations. And trying to protect that when it's under attack, as it is tonight, is a very difficult thing to do. There are so many questions, of course, but one that emerged today is why would the Tory party pay the legal fees of someone who the Prime Minister's office decided had committed an egregious offence? Yeah, big, big question and zero answers to that coming from either Stephen Harper or Mike Duffy tonight on it. It's one of the great mysteries of this and it may take a while to figure it out. There's a couple of other questions unanswered too, Donna. Coming back into question now is that famous 90 or infamous $90,000 that Nigel Wright apparently cut from his own bank account. Turns out nobody's seen the check. Duffy says he hasn't seen the check. We don't know where the check went. We don't know what the financial trail was there. Also, there's this. On one point, Stephen Harper and Mike Duffy agree on one thing. There was a tissue of lies created around this whole story. So the question that has no answer to it is, why was it that senior people in the Prime Minister's office felt that it was an acceptable response to a problem to create lies and to tell Canadians lies? We don't know that one yet. And just quickly, Tom, what Canadians, I think, want are facts. It's impossible to know who to believe without hard facts about who knew what. Is that only going to come under subpoena? It looks that way uh, because by week's end or at the beginning of next week, the Duffy Wall and Brazo saga is going to be over in the Senate. There are going to be lawsuits. The RCMP may or may not proceed. We'll have to see about that. Interesting, though, Donna, tonight there's a memo circulating to Tory MPs here on the Hill telling them to keep quiet about the Duffy affair. That comes from a senior party organizer. All right, Tom Clark in Ottawa. Thank you.